Okay, welcome to week five. Um, hope everybody's hanging in there. Um, we're moving along. Actually, we're up to uh, fairly into the course now. So actually, we're uh, topics we're going to be talking about this week. Uh, we're going to be talking about topic four. Uh, excuse me, topics six and seven. All right, so we're going to be talking about physical security, right, which is really the, the, the concept of how do you physically secure the environment that you run your computing resources in. Um, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's an interesting topic. It's been, it's, it's, times have changed a bit because it used to be there was one data, one organization always had one data center. So the focus of the, was the a physical security was on the, you know, the single building where the computer was housed. Now, you know, since computing is now in a, in a totally distributed, it is a different, I mean, it, it's, you know, there's still a uh, very strong need for physical security, but it, it takes on new forms. So we're going to talk, be talking about with, uh, that's what we, we cover in topic six. Topic seven is really one of the core um, elements of security, which is really risk analysis and risk management. All right. So that if you if you work in the security field, you'll hear you know one of you know one of the the term that gets used over and over and over again is a focus on you know identifying risks, um, mitigating risks. You know that that is really the kind of the central topic that we're really focused on. All right, and there's a within when we talk a little bit about the the NIST risk management framework, because really what there is is there's a, a you know the, how do you go about this is you know the form there's a formal structured way around how we do this stuff. All right, so the idea of how do you do a risk assessment? How do you once you've got the assessment? How do you reduce that risk? Um, what are the types of protective measures you can put into place? Uh, where do you want to accept risk and where do you want to assign risk? All right, so there's a whole structure around that, which is what we're talking about within, uh, within 7, which we're looking at the NIST, the NIST risk management framework. So these are the two topics we're going to be talking about this week. Um, we have the quizzes. Come back up here. So... Quizzes for six and seven. All right, uh, and we will see where we go with the exam. Probably in two, I think probably another two weeks, which will be topics four, five, six, and seven. So this will be the cutoff point for what we will have for test for exam number two. All right, uh, exam number one. Also, just to let you know, exam number one. Um, has been graded. Uh, I went through it. Everybody did fairly well. And so there's a pretty good, you know, pretty good distribution of um, of grades on it. If there's any questions on anything, just reach out to me. Uh, you know, with the quizzes, uh, I actually had sent a message out to some folks just as, as, as a reminder of staying on top of the quizzes. You know, you get a little bit behind. You need it. You know, you always want to make sure you're not too far behind. All right, so because you know, we still have some time to be able to, to get that in, so make that make it a point. If you haven't completed all of the quizzes up till now, make sure you um, circle back and complete them. Okay, so uh, so this week will be t uh, quiz seven, quiz six, and quiz seven. All right, um, and I think what else we have? I'm going to record another chapter in our case study here. So if the approach I'm taking with this, if you haven't figured it out yet, is that I'm introducing it piece by piece. All right. So rather than give you a big blob of stuff and have you go after it, I'm actually going through the entire kind of a, you know, on a step by step, how you would do this in real life. So the idea of, you know, the, uh, the idea of the introduction you know, basically, here's your here's your problem statement. If somebody tells you to go do a, a you know a um, continuity or security policy for a particular organization or operation or, or whatever. Okay, have, understanding that you know what is the this 
this idea of, you know, here's what you are given application and uh, technology descriptions. All right. So what we're going to do in this next recording, which I'm going to put out later this week, is we want to talk about how we take this information and, and start basically structuring it. All right. So there's some stuff within NIST Special Publication 834, which we'll be talking about in the recording, all right, where we talk about where we kind of take, you know, where we have an applications, uh, st start doing evaluate, you know, how do we, we evaluate uh, and do it in, a, in an organized fashion. So you, you, you've got, you know, uh, you go through a thorough analysis of this. Okay, so that's basically, I'm going to record that this week. And I'll put that out there, and I'll send a message out when we when that when that's out there as well. You know, the idea is what you sh we should be able to do is for the paper should be able to take this piece, this first piece here, as well as this piece here, and basically use that as the introduction into um, the paper. So it's kind of part way done. But now we get to the more interesting, and actually. You know, a little bit more challenging part is where, okay, now we're going to, given all of this information now, go back and start analyzing it and, and start making recommendations. All right. So we'll go through, we'll go through that. So, you know, you know, suggest you kind of stay, you know, one of the things you're probably going to want to do is try to stay with this as we go through it. So kind of, you know, we're going, kind of going through it step by step because that's what we do in real life. You know, in real life, this becomes a kind of a, you know, a project, different phases of a project, you know, and different tasks that have to be completed in a particular sequence. All right. Um, and I think that's about it for the announcements this week. All right. Um, as I said, I, I sent a message out to folks, you know, stay on top of the quizzes. Uh, any questions or problems uh, with stuff? Oh, if, if do me a favor. If Can you please check to see if you are able to see the grade on the exam. All right. And I think I've got it wired up. What happens is the way Moodle is set up is, you know, it'll you, it'll capture the grade, it'll generate a grade. And assuming we set everything up correctly, you should be able to see what your grade is. All right. But uh, I'm not sure if I got that set up correctly. So uh, if, if you take a look at it, if you, if you can't see your grade, send me a, you know, send me a, send me a message. And we'll go back and we'll kind of noodle on it a bit more and try to figure out what we have. Okay, so that's what I have for now. Uh, as I said, any questions, you know, just reach out and we'll keep moving forward. Expect to see another uh, recording around our ongoing case study work a um, couple days, probably like when I think it went probably like Wednesday. All right, take care. Have a good have a good night and stay safe.